why this is fixed it you may have seen in one of my previous videos on the mad waves mad player that QB fell off the table several times and this broke his leg so I need to open him up so we've opened up the foot and now what I need to do is to get the servo out of there Having detached the servo, I now need to open up the QB in order to see how it's connected to the main motherboard. And to do that, there's a seam at the front. And if you put a blunt instrument, I actually like one of grandma's old stainless steel kitchen knives. And if you get that in the groove, you can slowly prise the QB open. Once you've got one bit open, you can work your way around the edge and it literally just clips apart as with all of these things be very careful don't push the knife in any further than you have to in order to get it open so now what I need to do is to take the ears off just to see if there's any screws in there that are making it difficult to open and in fact there aren't the face is still firmly stuck so there's actually a seam at the side so now what I need to do is to get the knife in there and gently prise at the seam again just flicking it open work your way round and then the large back of the skull should come off in one piece the base obviously can only come off once the legs are off which is a good reason to take the legs off and then you can gently pull everything apart this small black piece is actually a covering for the LEDs that make up the mouth so you don't just end up with a blur you actually see the individual mouth dots and that needs to be put to one side safely you don't want to be losing that now I'll just switch on QB so I can have a feel of what's happening with the servos You can see how bright the LEDs are and this continuous whirring shouldn't be happening. QB should be absolutely silent after he's finished doing his little dance. If I spin this round we can see that the servos are connected by micro GST connectors and before proceeding any further I'm going to disconnect the battery from the motherboard just to make sure that when I disconnect the face and the servos that I don't cause an electrical problem. To remove the face grab either side of the eyes and pull down gently to release the four pins that are holding the face in place then pull it slightly away. Don't pull it away too far because there's a cable in the way. The attached ribbon cable is for the mouth and the ultrasonic sensors which make up the eyes. Pulling on the grey catch will allow you to release the cable and then the whole face can be lifted away and stored safely. In the next video I'll be replacing QB's right leg servo with a commonly available servo after testing it on my cell meter 8. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.